How's it going everybody? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson and today I've got three uh, cool and easy riffs for you from Thin Lizzy. Right now Guitar Control is giving away this free uh, chord chart. There's a link down in the description where you can download yours. It's in PDF format and it has every chord that you could ever need in whatever situation you might be in at a glance. All uh, well organized, convenient, uh, doesn't take up a lot of space, you can print it off, hang it up on the wall, or just, you know, have it where you practice. Great tool. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at these. Alright, so the first one we're going to look at is uh, Boys Are Back in Town. So it just starts off, we've just got this A5. So my first finger is barring the second fret of the D and the G string, and then the A string is open. Now, this is a double dotted half note, so this is going to ring out for uh, uh, almost the entire measure, just the last um, eighth note, so the end of four. So it's going to be like one, two, three, four, and, and then on the end of four, we're going to hit just the D string open. Then... You're going to go you lift your finger up so you can get the D string open and then you're going to put your first your first finger back down onto the second fret of the D string and then put your third finger on the fourth fret. Now we're going to play that fourth fret three times is a eighth note triplet. So like one, so like triple lit and then on the downbeat of two we go back to the second fret and the end of two, we go to the second fret, or excuse me, the fourth fret of the A string, back to the second fret of the D string, back to the uh, fourth fret of the A string. Now we're going to do a B5. So. Our third finger, we just ended there on the fourth fret of the A string, so we're just going to move that up and let it bar the uh, fourth fret of the D and G string. And then our first finger is going to grab the second fret of the uh, A string. And then this is the same, similar timing to that first measure. So we're hitting this on the end of four, and it's tied to uh, the uh, first three and a half beats, excuse me, four and a half. All the way down to the downbeat of four. So it's like and one, two, three, four, and, and then on the and of four, we're gonna move that shape up to a D5. So now your third finger is playing the uh, 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 the fifth fret of the D and the G string, and your first finger is playing the fifth fret of the A string. Now, if that's difficult for you to do, you could do it this way, so you're using your pinky, or you can actually eliminate the notes that are on the G string. So at the A5, you could play just the second fret of the D string and the open A string. And then the B5, just the first finger on the second fret of the, B, of the A string and your third finger onto the uh, fourth fret of the D string. And then just move that shape up, so the 5th and 7th fret for the D5, and then it just repeats. So it's like... Next we're going to look at um, the riff from Jailbreak. So this one here starts off with an A5, but it's not this A5, it's this A5. So first finger is on the fifth fret of the low E string, and my third finger is on the seventh fret of the uh, A string. And we hit this on the downbeat of one, and then we rest on the end of one so this is an eighth note, so we play this on the downbeat of one, and then the and of one and the downbeat of two is a rest. So it's like one and two, and then on the and of two, 
we're going to do an E5. So come down, second fret of the A string, uh, the low E string open, and then again, you can pick up the second fret of the D string or just not play it, you know, depending upon your skill level. And then we hit that, and it's an eighth note. And then uh, we rest on the, uh, so that's the end of two, and then we rest on the downbeat of three, and then on the end of three, we hit just the open low E string. Then we have an F sharp five. So second fret of the low E with your first finger, fourth fret of the A string with your third finger, and again, you can pick up the fourth fret of the D string with your third finger, you know, or just, this is how I would play, it's like this. So my third finger is playing the A string and my fourth finger is playing the D string. So, and four and, and then we rest on, um, on one and the downbeat of two, and then on the end of two, we hit the open low E string. The downbeat of three, we hit the E5. The end of three, the E5. The downbeat of four, back to the F sharp five. And then the end of four, back to the E5. So when you're just playing it by yourself and just having those rests and stuff in there, it, it makes it feel kind of weird. So what I do is I kind of just add in some percussive strums just to kind of keep the timing together. All right, and then the last one we're going to look at is the riff from Chinatown. So this one here is pretty simple. It's... it's um, the open E, A, and D strings, and then the second fret of the A and the D string, and that's basically all of the notes. So we've got two open low E strings, and that's those are eighth notes, so it's like one and, and then for beat two, we have a triplet, so it's the A string open, hammer to the second fret, and then the D string open. So. Now, that's two, yellow, one, and. So it's tied to the, to the downbeat of, uh, of beat three, and then on the end of three, we hit the D string again. So. And then on, for beat four, we do open A string, hammer to the second fret, to the second fret of the D string, and that's a triplet. So four, yellow, low, and then it just repeats. Now, you can play it with whatever finger is more comfortable for you. You know, most people will probably typically play with their first finger, just like. But I tend to use my middle finger uh, sometimes for things where it's just a single, uh, where you don't need more than one finger to play the riff. A lot of times, I don't know why, my second finger just seems to be more dominant. Pretty cool riff. Not too terribly tough to play. But, you know, kind of cool and, you know, kind of a good little exercise for uh, timing and stuff too. All right, so there you have it, uh, three easy riffs uh, for beginners, completely beginner riffs uh, from uh, Thin Lizzy. So if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar related topics. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.